Hello friends, my name is Shayla and today I'm here to do part two of my project reread. In that first video I talked about five books I wanted to reread. So I have two from that list that I still haven't read so they will be mentioned in this video. But I have read three of the ones that I had wanted to reread. So now I'm going to talk about three new ones that I'm hoping to reread. It's been since very early on this year. I wanted to make this a bigger project, and I'm hoping to do that now because I feel like in my reading, I want to come back and revisit some of my favorites, especially fantasy novels. So these ones are all going to be fantasy novels that I want to revisit. So let's go ahead and dig right in. I'm going to leave the two that were mentioned in the previous video for the end, and I'll just do brief descriptions on those. But the other three are what we'll start with. So the first one I'm going to mention here is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. I've read this first book. I have not continued on in the series. I have read the Six of Crows duology after reading this book. But it's been long enough since I've read this that I feel like I need to reread this so I can finish out the rest of the series. And I would like to finish out the rest of the series by the end of this year. So I would really like to reread Shadow and Bone here quickly and then read Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rise and Be... Rise and Be... Ruin and Rising because I now own all three. So I would like to just finish out the series. I've been working really hard on finishing series recently and this is one that I would really like to finish just because one, it's a booktube darling, and two, I really think it's going to be a story I get along with pretty well, so I really want to go ahead and give the full story my full attention and my full thoughts. Next up on this list, we have Roseblood by A.G. Howard. This was one of my favorite reads of last year, and I would really like to come and revisit it. I love The Phantom of the Opera, the original story, Phantom of the Opera. I've read the book in its original French, I have a copy of the classic on my shelf, and I loved this when I read it. So I would really like to come and revisit this, as well as the original Phantom of the Opera. This has some more magic fantasy kind of feels to it than the original tale, but I would like to revisit both of them here soon. I'm hoping by the end of the year, but if not early on in 2019, because this is a book that I really loved, but a lot of people did not like this book nearly as much as I did. So I don't know if it's because I was clouded and excited for the fact that there was a Phantom of the Opera story or if I genuinely really love the writing and everything in this story. I've gotten along with A.G. Howard's writing in another book, so I'm hoping to revisit this and love it just as much as the first time. Next up is one that I have reread multiple times, but I do want to reread it again for a specific reason, and that is Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I love this fantasy novel, but I keep not reading the rest of the series. <laughs> It stands well enough on its own that you don't have to read them. They're more companion novels. But Bitter Blue is kind of a sequel to Graceling, and then there's a prequel called Fire. So I really want to read the entire series. And I want to read them in publication order, which is Graceling, then Fire, then Bitter Blue. So I really want to do that. But to do that, I need to revisit Graceling. This is one that I love anyway, so I am really excited to get back into the to it. This is an older one, so I'm going to explain a little bit more about this one. This is about a girl called Katza. Katza, um, in this world, people have like special skills, essentially, and I think they call them graces, if I remember correctly. And Katza, as they think, is killing. And so she is very feared by her people. Anyway, she goes and works kind of as this undercover thief almost kind of person. This is a really bad description, guys. I promise the book is really good. It does not sound as cliche as it actually is. It is a little bit older, so it does fall into some tropes. But I really, really, really super enjoy this first book. And I keep not progressing in the series. So I really want to progress. This is my goal. I own everything. I have no excuse at this point. So I just want to revisit Graceling so I can revisit the other two. The next two on this list were mentioned in the previous video, so I just want to briefly go over them and let you know that they are still on my reread list. The first being The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I loved how immersive this was the first time I read it, so I really would like to revisit it. I might actually revisit this on audiobook because I've only read it physically. And I've heard the audiobook for this is absolutely fantastic, so I might revisit it that way, but I might also read through this and annotate it. I haven't quite decided yet. If you 
have a preference on which way I do it, let me know. And I am planning on filming a fresh review for this. I don't think I did a, just a review of its own when I read it the first time. So I would like to come and revisit this and do it again. So anyway, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. This is one of her favorite books of all time. She's the one who convinced me to finally read it. I love her for it. And I'm excited to come back to this. And last but not least on this list is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This is a fairy tale inspired story about a girl in the woods. It's fantastic. I loved this. This was a five star read the first time. I did read Spinning Silver this year. I also gave it five stars, but I didn't directly compare them. I treated them as their own stories. And I think that's kind of what you're supposed to do. This one is told from one perspective where Spinning Silver is told from multiple perspectives. And I think that was people's biggest beef was so many perspectives in Spinning Silver when they were used to one and uprooted. So I wanted to come and revisit this now that I've read Spinning Silver this year and to see if I love this just as much because I really enjoyed my read of Spinning Silver. I tend to like multiple POVs, but I read a lot of high fantasies. That might be why I'm drawn to those. But I wanted to come and revisit this single perspective novel from her and see if I equally love it as well as I did the first time I read it. So guys, those are the five books I am hoping to reread here in the next little bit. I'm going to try to check in and do this quarterly instead of doing it, you know, early on in the year and now November. So I will be checking in again in like January or February, somewhere in that realm, to see how I've done on my progress with these and continue to do it from there. So I tend to do a couple videos quarterly, so I think I'll film all my quarterly videos kind of around the same time of the month, but it might not be the same month, so it'll be towards the end. Because like I do my book hauls quarterly, some things like that. So I think that's how this project is going to continue. I'll probably do it in the second month of the quarter, like towards the end of the month. I think that's kind of how I'm gonna want these to go. If you haven't seen one by March 1st, let me know and I'll make sure I get right on that and give you guys an update. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Shay. Welcome. Thank you for coming and checking out my channel. If you are interested in rereading any of these and would like to buddy read them with me, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always down for a good buddy read. If you're new, please hit subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know when to come hang with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.